Hello, great, okay. Good, good morning, hello everyone. I'm gonna be talking to you in a few minutes about uh, ES6. I'm, I think I can actually see everyone. There are lots of spaces up here in case you want to uh, move a little further up to be able to ask me questions more effectively because I am going to be asking you to do that many times during this talk. Uh, I just tweeted my slides and they are interactive. So if you have computers, as many of you do in front of you, you can open them up, type into them, click the fancy run button, and uh, play along with me as I go through uh, many different pieces of ES6. So ECMAScript 6 or ECMAScript 2015, so how many of you have, have heard of this, the new version of JavaScript? Okay, and how many of you have actually used it? Okay, great. So at least in the last talk, you, you heard and saw a lot of ES6 up here. So I'm going to be explaining some of those features as we go through. ECMAScript 6, or ECMAScript 2015, as the new name is, um, is the next version of JavaScript that's currently being implemented in most browsers. Uh, it has been a very long time coming. The last version of JavaScript that was ratified was 2009. And it didn't even have that many really cool things in it. And I'll get, I'll, get, oh, I'll get into that in a little bit. But we've all been very, very patient to have waited this long for all of these pieces. So my name is John Paul. Uh, I love JavaScript. I have uh, dalliances and indiscretions with other programming languages every once in a while. But I always come back from the Scala's and Java's of the world to JavaScript. Uh, if you want to take a look at the slides, just go to my Twitter handle or the jQueryConf hashtag, and you will see it. So first, I'd want to talk to you about what ECMAScript is. So ECMA is an international standards body. It is like IETF or IEEE. They have standardized a few things, most notably the amazing thing that we used to call the cloud, the floppy disk. It, they also standardize Dart. They standardize C Sharp. They standardize a few different pieces of you know, the internet world that we don't typically think about. Their official standard body adopted scripting language is ECMAScript, which is what we lovingly call JavaScript. So ECMA International is the standards body that puts together the specification every however many years. The particular, the particular group within the ECMA standards body is called TC39. There's a lot of jargon and lingo here that you don't necessarily need to know. But ECMAScript has had a few major revisions. Uh, ECMAScript version three, was, was put together in 1999, most notably added regular expressions. Can you imagine life without regular expressions? It also added try and catch, some pretty staple ideas in programming languages we gratefully got in JavaScript. And, in